Hey everybody, this is Chad from Good Creative Tutorial, and today I'm going to do the first in a series of Photoshop selections. We're going to start with the lasso tool and also the polygonal lasso tool. And uh, these can be used in conjunction with other tools, but we'll cover those in another tutorial. But I just want to go over the base of this and under what context would you use the lasso tool as well as the polygonal lasso tool. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, the selection tools in Photoshop enable designers and photographers to select certain pixels, modify them, delete them, duplicate, otherwise edit them. And these commonly used selection tools can be effective when you want to take pixels from one layer, add them to another image, or modify just a specific area. So go ahead and go to File Open and open up a photo in Adobe Photoshop. And on the toolbar, and you should see this over here on the left, if you don't just go to Window and then Tools you'll notice the third one from the top is, should be the lasso tool and if you click and hold on to it you'll see the polygonal lasso tool and there's a lasso tool there so go ahead and select the lasso tool and this is a freeform tool it's not like the marquee selection tools we'll cover in a, another tutorial where it has a preset shape like a square rectangle or oval or circle so go ahead and just click and drag so you want to click and hold on and this has kind of a curved edge and you'll notice it's not a perfect selection uh, but this is just a very basic tool compared to some of the other selection tools and it's really meant to grab selections pretty quickly uh, kind of touch up selections you've already done with other tools but it can be useful when making this kind of selection if you'll notice whoa it went off a little bit there uh, if you'll notice this is not a perfect selection, all right? Um, but but you can add to it and subtract to it after the fact. And I'll show you. I'm just going really quickly around the edge here. Uh, if you let go, it will automatically connect with the beginning point. And you'll see here what we have are called marching ants, all right, going around the selection there. And if you just zoom in by pressing Command, plus or control plus on the PC, command plus on the Mac, and you can zoom in to specific areas or you can use the magnifying glass of course. Um, and you'll notice right here, see how that's not a perfect selection. Uh, one cool thing that a lot of people don't know is that you can actually uh, hold on to alt on the PC or option on the Mac and that will subtract from a selection. So I'm clicking and dragging with the lasso tool and that's subtracting from it, so it's deselecting any area like that. The opposite is if you hold shift, it will add to a selection. So if there's areas you want to add to the selection, like right here, you can hold shift and select it. All right, so that's good on, you want to make quick selections on certain things and or you've already made a selection for example with a quick selection tool or the marquee selection tool and you just want to add to it that's the lasso tools uh, pretty helpful in those contexts the polygonal lasso tool though is a little bit uh, different tool in that you can use it for straight lines so like this shape here if I wanted to select just this building if I click and let go oops click and let go then uh, click and let go click and let go Click and let go. So I'm not clicking and dragging, just clicking it at specific points. All right, and it uh, continues. So you don't have to have a steady hand when you're doing this. You can just click and let go. You, now, that said, you can use this on curves. You just have to click more often. So if you got to a curved area, you could just go click, click and let go, click and let go, click and let go, click and let go. So if you clicked often, you could create a curve like so. All right. So let's say if you had this selected here and uh, the reason you might want to make a selection like this is let's say you wanted to cut it so if you're near the beginning you can actually just double click. Now if you wanted to remove some of these areas right here again alt or option and you can subtract areas from the current selection. Right. All right. So let's say you had one of these 
selections here and you wanted to bring this into another image, it's pretty easy. All you have to do, you could use the move tool and click and drag it, or you can just go to edit, copy, and then go to the other image. And I'm just going to deselect here and go to edit, paste. And then that pastes that in on its own layer, as you can see. Uh, another reason you might want to select a certain area is, for example, if you wanted to just apply a, an effect just to those selected areas. So right here I can actually go to Filter, Blur, Motion Blur, and then you notice it's only affecting that area that's selected. So you could do some image adjustments, like image adjustments, hue saturation, or any of those kind of things after you've made the selection. All right. Uh, the lasso tool can be helpful. Uh, it's easy to stray from the path though when you're uh, making selections, so it's, it's really helpful for those contexts where you just want to uh, add to or uh, subtract from a selection you've already made. Uh, the polygonal lasso tool is helpful uh, when creating straight lines, but you can create curves, you just have to click more often. Uh, finally, you can use these together with other tools such as the magnetic lasso tool or the marquee selection tools, but we're going to cover those in uh, the next uh, set of tutorials uh, in the series on Photoshop selections. 